Hi guys, first off let me apologize for me not getting this video out the door a lot sooner. Basically what happened is that I have a brand new German Shepherd puppy, he decided my internet would be a fun thing to chew on, and Comcast sucks as a company and they decided they'd get to me whenever the fuck they felt like getting to me. So that's pretty much why it took me so long to get this video out the door and I actually went back and recorded this audio clip mainly because I wanted to say fuck Comcast. So, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into this uh, tutorial. This is going to be talking about how you can keep control of the clinch. So, hopefully you'll learn some things you didn't know. Um, if you already feel like you're well versed on this, I say go ahead and watch it anyway. You might see some things that you didn't know. Um, and we'll talk about how you can stop them from transitioning, how you can stop them from escaping, and how you can also uh, guard yourself while you're inside of the clinch. So, the first thing you should know about how to control the clinch is actually how do you get into the clinch. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to use the right analog stick and press towards your opponent. And this will actually put you inside the clinch. Now, there's four different ways to get inside the clinch. We have our first example of just using the right analog stick by itself. But then we also have three different ways that we can get into it as well. So these other ways are if you use L1, uh, if you're playing on Xbox, this would be left bumper, and the right analog stick towards your opponent, you'll actually go into uh, over under. And this is where you have one arm under uh, your opponent's arm and then you have another arm on top of your opponent. Um, so this is called over under position. Um, then we also have the double under which you can use by using R1 or right bumper on Xbox and you'll use R1 right analog stick towards your opponent and those will give you double under. Now my personal preference is using L1 and R1 and towards your opponent at the same time and this puts you directly inside of the Muay Thai clinch. Now um, this is completely dependent on your fighter. Your fighter might not have the capabilities to go directly into one of these positions. So here we have me, I'm playing as John Jones and I have my opponent inside of the Muay Thai clinch. So what's happening right now is that he's actually trying to make a transition to get out of the clinch. Now this is signified by the fact that when he gets ready to move you'll notice that his hair turns to the right. Um, this is an indicator of which way he's trying to go, he's trying to transition and essentially which way he's trying to escape uh, my position. So what you want to do in a scenario like that is when you see your opponent doing something like this you'll hold the R2 button on Xbox right trigger and you'll use the right analog stick to point to the direction they're trying to go to and you'll stop it. Now this is also dependent on your stamina as well. If you punch yourself out early, um, if you're really tired and then you just grab onto them in desperation, they're going to be able to move inside of the clinch much faster and much more fluently than you can. Um, so also keep a, definitely keep an eye out on your stamina and their stamina as well. So here we go. We're going to hold R2. We're going to uh, press the right analog stick to the right because that's the way they're looking. And you see we're going to snatch them back and put them into the position like we want them. Now one of my favorite things to do, and um, I've seen questions for it a lot, is uh, when I'm inside of the Muay Thai clinch, I do a Muay Thai clinch whip. And the way you do this is uh, on Xbox, you'll hold left bumper on PlayStation L1, and then you'll flick the right analog stick either up or down. And what that'll do, it'll actually take your opponent's head and their body as a whole, and it'll actually grab them and it'll fling them around um, in another direction. Now this is really good for putting your opponent up against the cage or getting them in a better position to place them up against the cage. And it's also good because if you're fighting against somebody who likes to mash to escape really quick, you can actually use this to throw off their timing so they burn a little bit of stamina and you get them in a more advantageous position for yourself. Now one thing that's very important is once you get them in the clinch position of your choice, you want to actually be able to stop them from getting out of it. So one very important thing you'll want to do is in this situation, you see that my opponent has taken both his hands and he's placed them on my elbows. This means he's actually trying to now break my clinch, push me off, and you know go back to remaining in his standing position. When you see this happening, what you'll want to do is you'll actually hold R2 and then you'll press up on the right analog stick and this will actually break their hands off you and pull it back down. Now there are different animations for this. Um, in another clip you'll see in a second, um, Cain Velasquez is actually going to take his arms and instead of putting them on top of my elbows, he's going to put them under my elbows and then attempt to separate them like that. So there are def different animations. You'll need to get kind of adjusted for the different animations. But once you see it happening, you'll always want to use R2 and up. And that's actually how you stop them from breaking out of the clinch. Now the last thing to keep an eye out for is your opponent trying to take you down to the ground. So what they can do is they can actually hit the L2 button, press down on the right analog stick at the same time, and they can attempt to take you down to the ground. Now you can do the same thing as well. You just hit L2, down on the right analog stick, and you'll go for a takedown. Now um, if you see this happening, what you'll want to do is you'll hold R2, press down on the right analog stick, and you can stuff their takedown. Now they will go back into standing position, but at least you haven't been put on your back, and then you have to fight your way through guard. So that's pretty much it. 
The main thing to take away from this is that there's four ways to enter the clinch using the right analog stick by itself, using L1 plus the right analog stick to go directly into over under, using uh, the right analog stick and R1 at the same time to go into double under, and using L1 and R1 and the right analog stick to go directly into the Muay Thai clinch. Once again, that's completely dependent on your fighter. Your fighter may not be able to go directly into those positions, so you might want to test it out with your fighter and make sure they can do it first. If you see your opponent trying to move their head to the right or to the left while you're in uh, the position that you want inside of the clinch, use R2 and press the direction that they're heading um, based on which way their head is looking to stop that transition. If you see their hands go in any type of motion to push you off normally, both their hands will push some type of way. You'll want to use the R2 button and up to stop them from being able to break the clinch. Hope that really helps you guys. Really, really sorry about getting this out the door so late. Please make sure to like, subscribe. Um, there will be a lot more coming. There's also a lot more on first3.com. Uh, once again, thanks you guys for joining me. I'm King DX. Hope you guys have a great day. Go ahead and uh, finish watching the rest of this fight. This is a fight that I did online, so hopefully you enjoy it. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns. Leave them in the comment section below, and I'll make sure to get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks again, guys. Bye. the hook to the head they are exchanging here Mike powerful kick just missing oh as we track the fight we see the number of total strikes land looking for the suplex wow look at that kick down man now he's mounted up Beautiful punch. Nice job getting back up. Unbelievable. Beautiful takedown. A man the mount. Full mount. Not good. Oh, look at that. Get that back to his feet. He misses with the left hook. The hook blocked by Verdun. Oh, we got tagged. Good takedown defense. Verdun with another takedown. And look at that, he's up. Just two minutes remain in the fight. Oh man, they are winning at each other. Wow, big combination. He's looking for a Kimura attempt here. And he's free from the Kimura. He's in big trouble. Full mount. Velasquez gets back up again. And from here, transitions to the Muay Thai clinch. Locks up the plum. Those are nasty knees. Look at this, take down. He's got to be real careful about how he engages. Well, look at that, scoots. Big kick to the body, huge block. And now, this fight goes the what distance. A what a fight. Fabricio Verdun's ability to take his opponent down at will may be the deciding factor in this very close fight. I agree. The takedowns were a big factor in this fight. It was a close fight, but the takedowns really stand out in my eyes. Round two. Perfect timing and technique and a beautiful head kick. Round three, we see perfect technique in this suplex. Beautifully executed. And here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision.
Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 30-27, declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Fabricio Vicavallo Verdu. Fabricio Vicavallo Verdu earns the unanimous decision victory.